Welcome to our planwithpeak.com demo. Hello everyone, my name is Nick Hopwood. I am the founder and president of Peak Wealth Management. I'm a certified financial planner, and today I'm going to show you a demo of my financial planning software. Give me a few minutes to uh, demo how I approach financial planning and the tools that I use to do so. So this is the planwithpeak.com backend view from me. I like to sit down with my clients and, and uh, share this live in my meetings. So Frank and Joanne are completely made up. So uh, we, uh, we have Frank who's 53 and Joanne is 52 and their kids are out of the house. They're making great money. They have a strong balance sheet, but they want to retire at 65 and they, they're not sure if they're on track. They're saving a lot, but they're just not sure if it's enough. So let's take a look at their balance sheet. This is where I always like to start. Here in the balance sheet, we have the checking and savings, the brokerage account, Frank's 401, Joanne's 403, Joanne's, Joanna's Roth, the house, the cottage, cars, and jewelry. <clears throat> also a mortgage. So the mortgage is sitting out there at 426000 It's a big loan while, while retirement is approaching quick. So we have about 12 years to get this loan knocked out. But the problem is they have 17 years left on the mortgage. So that's something that I'll pay really close attention to. Otherwise, they have a strong balance sheet at 1.8. Let's go to our cash flow report. I like to use the five year cash flow to look at many years at a time. And at the top here, we have portfolio information. We see the portfolio is growing each year where we assume a 5% growth rate, plus their deposits each year. That's down here, the planned savings. Frank's maxing out the 401. Joanna's contributing to the 403. And they so they have this 27, 28, 29,000 per year in addition to the employer match, which does not show up on this screen. But they have uh, a rich lifestyle. So, you know, in addition to their $140,000 of spending each year, they have their mortgage which is $34,000 per year. They're paying a lot of tax, they're saving a lot, and we have a balanced budget. But like I said, we gotta find a way to knock out that mortgage so uh, they don't have any debt during, reti during retirement. That's really important to me. All right, back on cash flow here, let's look at the retirement year. So Frank here is 65. There's no more pay, we have a, some social security coming in for the two of them. We have Joanna's hospital pension. But look at these expenses, okay? They're growing each year by 2.5% inflation. We still have that mortgage. So we need $150,000 out of the portfolio each year. And $150,000 on, on 2.3 million comes out to be 6.5% withdrawal rate. It's far too much. Cannot, we simply cannot take out that much and have our money last until age 90. It's not going to happen. So as we see here, the portfolio is declining right, right out of the gate. So immediately, we're forced to spend down principal. Now when we look at the really big picture, I can illustrate uh, in a chart format really easily. So here we go. The blue is good and the red is bad. You see that the money lasts until about age 85 because we have death at 90. So right away, the portfolio is declining. So even though they have over $2 million, the fact that uh, there's only one small pension and there's a tremendous need uh, for their lifestyle and for the mortgage, it really erodes the portfolio quickly. So what can we do? This is my favorite type of discussion. So let's go into the decision center and play around with some of these numbers. Let's say they want to work longer. It's a huge trend right now. We have people who retire at 65 and then they come back to the workforce because they're, they're bored. They realize that after golfing every day for a year that they're bored of golf. So they look for something more fulfilling. Oftentimes people come back to work. So what if they retire uh, at 68 instead of 65? Well, the blue here, that's the base plan. 
You see, it looks like this. Remember, they run out of money at age 85, and at age 90 uh, is our assumed age of death. So that's not the, the good situation here. But if we work three years longer, look at the delta. That's the green. It makes all the difference in the world. Another thing that they could do is they could save an additional $3,000 per month. And that might sound like a lot, but remember, they're very affluent. They could do this two ways. One would be investing in their brokerage account, and one would be paying off their mortgage. They'd, bo they'd both have the same effect, but here it is with a nice chart. Another way would be looking at, well, what if we earn 8% instead of 5%? You can see that's a very dramatic difference. Okay, now let's take a look at Frank and Joanna's login from their point of view. This is their home screen. And we have the menu at the top here. You can see right away the net worth and investment value. And also break down uh, the different investment accounts itemized, even though they're with different companies. So this might be with Ameritrade. This might be with Fidelity. This could be with, say, AXA. And this one could be with Schwab. So they're all with different custodians, but playingwithpeak.com is able to bring them together on one screen. And when you're looking on your phone, we set, it, set you up with a really nice pin, and so you can truly look at your portfolio and your net worth at a red light. You can also make edits. We can change uh, your budget, your future goals, your financial priorities, for instance, uh, what's more important, retirement planning or investments or college? And his and hers might be different, but we can come in here and play around with our priorities. Uh, also in the uh, organizer is your risk tolerance questionnaire. The workshop tab at, up at the top here is where you can run your own what-if scenarios. And there's a nice tutor tutorial here to help you. Spending, this is uh, not available for a sample account, but this is how you could create your own budget at home. I don't like the term budget, but I like the term expense tracking, which is very important. On the investments tab, you're having all the different accounts feed in, and it's going to aggregate everything together. So you can see your exposure to different asset classes, um, and also, uh, Histor historical returns. Uh, this is a d dummy account, so there's nothing there. And also transactions will show up. Over here in the vault, this is where you can store your important information, such as a will, a trust, a power of attorney, and it's available anywhere in the world on your smartphone. Reports. These are some of the things we were just looking at. Yeah, the balance sheet should look familiar. Same exact report that I looked at it from my perspective. Here's the, ca the five-year cash flow, which should look familiar as well. Another one would be savings. So this will itemize between now, 2017, and 2029, uh, between now and retirement. Frank's putting away 24000 He's taking advantage of the catch-up. Joanne's putting in uh, her amount, and then we get the company match. So tons of great reports. There's dozens and dozens. So this really is uh, the ultimate financial planning software. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up here. I am back on my backend view. This is a report called Maximum Retirement Spending. This kind of sums it all up. So my client comes to me, Frank and Joanna. They say that they have a retirement goal of $10,000 per month. So we enter everything the way that they're doing it, uh, and, and we assume that they're going to continue with all of the assumptions between now and age 90. And this is the way that looks. Living on 120000 in retirement in today's dollars, the chart looks like this. It's the same thing we've been looking at before. Okay. Now over here, we have the maximum retirement spending chart. So we say, well, what, what, is, what actually are we on pace for if we keep doing it uh, without going broke, without going negative? And that would be $115,000 per year. So when our clients walk out the door, they know exactly where they stand. In this case, they come up a little bit short, but we can easily play with the different what-if scenarios 
What if we work longer? What if we save this much? What if our portfolio earns more? We can understand exactly what changes need to happen in order to reach your goal. So uh, if you guys would like to learn more about how we do things, um, you can visit us on peakwm.com. You can also listen to our podcast. It's called the Finding True Wealth Podcast. It's on the, in the iTunes podcast app, as well as on Podbean. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N. Just search Finding True Wealth or my name, Nick Hopwood. Thanks again for watching the demo. Hopefully, you have a better understanding about how we do things here as certified financial planners. <laughs>